When President Biden leaves Washington tomorrow uh, to fly off to this year's G20 summit in Rome, um, there is one source of embarrassment, one sign of something gone wrong in our country that he's going to be bringing with him um, that is going to make that big diplomatic shindig awkward for us specifically. And, and, you know, again, I do not mean to say that we're, you know, worse off in the eyes of the world than every other country in the G20. Lots of countries get to be in the G20, 20 to be exact. You know, even when they have scandals and big international failures and people who are international disgraces as their leaders, right? Even when, in Russia's case, they invaded and occupied a neighboring nation, you still get to be in the G20. That said, I think we are going to be the only country at the G20 this year with this particular problem. Um, this is a list of all the countries in the G20. Um, Argentina, Australia, Brazil, Canada, China, France, Germany, Japan, India, Indonesia, Italy, Mexico, Russia, South Africa, Saudi Arabia, South Korea, Turkey, United Kingdom, and the European Union, which is not a country, but you get the point. Of all of those other countries in the G20, those 18 countries plus the EU, President Biden currently has his ambassadors in place in these countries. He has appointed an ambassador to Mexico and appointed an ambassador to Turkey just as of yesterday. Um, there are ambassadors in place to Indonesia and Russia, but they are not ones appointed by President Biden. Those are leftovers from the Trump years. Other than Mexico and Turkey, he has been allowed to name no ambassadors to any of the other countries in the G20. Because Republicans in the United States Senate will not allow President Biden to have any ambassadors to any of the other countries. Republicans in the United States Senate are holding them all up. So happy G20 as President Biden heads out to this big G20 summit no doubt to try to position America as once again the leader of the free world, no doubt to try to convince all the other leading economic powers of the world about the great things that can be done with peaceful power through the power of diplomacy. That said, awkwardly, he himself is not actually allowed any diplomats. Thanks to Republicans in the United States Senate, the United States is not even allowed to hire people to be diplomats in the most important countries in the world. Because neener, neener, they're Republican senators, and hey, isn't it fun to screw up the U.S. government like this?